imagine being in your math class, slowly looking at the countless letters and numbers written on the board. You're on the verge of falling asleep when the thought hits you. Why am I supposed to know these things? Indeed, it can be difficult to see how all the math you learn at school could be relevant to your goals for the future. But in reality, math is important in many fields of study, and everyone is likely to have a good use for it at some point in their lives. First, let's answer the question. Why would someone not appreciate math as it is? There are two main reasons for this. The first reason is that math may be difficult to learn and comprehend for that person. Indeed, not everyone has the ability to solve arithmetic operations mentally, or to think of the solution to a problem in mere seconds. It just isn't something that occurs naturally to everyone. The second reason is what's known as a skills mismatch. Put simply, a skills mismatch is when there is a gap between an individual's skills and the demands of the job market. In this case, the gap refers to the usefulness of mathematics in that person's particular job of interest. Some people may fall under one of these two reasons, but some may also fall under both reasons, which can make their interest in math even lower. So, how do we address these two issues? For the first reason, the answer lies not only in the student's study habits, but also in how the subject is taught. In mathematics, both the teacher and the student need to maintain a sense of interest when dealing with the subject. Afterwards, it becomes a matter of improving the student's aptitude in the subject, then developing their interest in it. For the second reason, we have to understand that while math is important in most if not all fields of study, different fields of study may call for different levels of familiarity with the subject. For example, you might need to know trigonometry if you want to become an engineer, but not if you want to become a lawyer. Now that we've addressed these two issues, let's talk about how wonderful math is and how it can be applied in various fields of study. Let's start off with one of the most useful applications of math in our daily lives. Think about it. Without numbers, would you be able to tell what time it is? Without measurements, would you be able to measure the right amount of ingredients when cooking? As you can see, Math is a crucial part of the logic that governs the everyday actions and interactions of our society. Without it, all of us would have a hard time going on with our daily lives. Another useful application of math is in statistics, which is the discipline of the collection and analysis of data. Statistics allows us to get a general idea of the situations that surround our society. For example, statistics allows us to get an understanding of how much renewable energy we use each year or how much pollution comes from factories in the same amount of time. Statistics allows us to formulate ideas and solutions to various issues in our society. Math is also used in the sciences, particularly in chemistry and physics. In chemistry, math is frequently used in stoichiometry, which deals with the nature and concepts regarding chemical reactions. In physics, math is used in most of the concepts surrounding the subject such as in projectile motion, thermodynamics, and electricity. Math is also used in other sciences, such as astronomy, where astronomers use math to test their laws and theories that govern the actions of celestial bodies. Aside from these, math is also used in computer science, particularly in cryptography, the study of techniques for secure communication in the presence of third parties. It is frequently used in many services, such as ATMs, emails, and file storage. Math is a very dynamic field of study. It has numerous applications by itself and together with other related fields of study. Learning and appreciating the subject is best achieved by a mutual understanding between the teacher and the student. The level and complexity of math you need to know depends on what you want to pursue in life. Math is what makes us all progress as a society, and without it, we would have a much harder time going on with our lives. So, next time you're on the verge of sleeping again during math class, just remember that you could be missing out on one of the most influential aspects of your life. This is Daryl Cook with St. Stephen's High School.